Hey, Orange One here. So, um, we are making our way back to our base up, um, to Northeast, for just trying to get these cyborgs that we picked up in the last episode, um, our last few episodes, really, back home. That's going to be our goal. I'm a little bit nervous because we're driving through fields and they don't have seatbelts. They're just, like, hanging out in, like, the back of this car. Which you should never, ever do. I just never understood states that have that law where they let people ride in the back of trucks. Like, I've lived in a couple of them. And it's just insane. It just seems, like, so irresponsible to let people be able to do that. But then again, it's, like, also an, an issue of access and being able to get to work and stuff. And some people, like, they have trucks. That's, all, like, the only thing they can use to get to work. But it's, like, no, but no. Like, that's still not... Not an excuse for using something that's so fundamentally not safe like that, like the back of a truck <laughs> riding in a car. Oh man. Okay, so I think, yeah, we wanted to basically make our way back. And there is a skeletal juggernaut. What do you think? Should, uh, should Harvey get a little bit more combat experience? It's also a shocker brute right there. Kind of want want to do it, but like there's not really much point. And also, I kind of want to get the cyborgs back. That's really what my main goal is right now. Um, I think we want to go up and over because the other way there's like an acidic ant hill, and that sounds nasty. It looks like we've got a ton of regular ants up here, um, which is definitely not fun, but it's way better than the acidic ones. Like, trust me. The Dementia, isn't that one of the humanoid, like, interdimensional humanoids that, like, gives you, like, human flesh? I think it is. I've only seen those things, like, in the the spoilers, if you're, if you just want to plug your ears for 10 seconds, in the bottom of those cathedrals for the quest line for that one NPC uh, recruitment quest line thing. Um... Yeah, they're pretty cool, but they're definitely rare. Besides that one encounter, you know, I haven't really seen them just wandering like that. That's kind of weird, truth be told. Uh, okay, here we go. So let's see, let's go over here. And yeah, I think, oh, you know, I wanted to talk to you guys. I actually started, um, working out again. I used to do that a lot, like, and, oh, that's not going to the side of this building. In, like, um, yeah, in college, I used to work out quite a bit, and, like, high school, I did the whole, like, sport team thing. I was never very good at the sport team, but I did like the, like, exercise and the gym and, and that stuff. I did like that aspect of it, and I kind of just stopped doing it as I got older. Um, let's see, it looks like the doggos and the zombos are gonna fight there. Barbie wants to see it. It's it's just uh let's just take a second. Yeah, it looks like uh there's a pretty clear advantage. Yeah. Okay, well not worth watching then. Right, it has to be a fair fight for me to be interested in watching that, watching that NPCs go at each other. Okay, um, I think yeah, this is just one of those weird little forest islands here. So let's just go around that, and then we'll um, we'll be most most of the way back. I think there's like yeah, we're most of the way back to where we wanted to be. Just need to, like, swing through, like, St. George here. Need to go a little bit further down, and then up and over. Okay, cool. Got it. But yeah, I think that, like, um, I've been starting to do, like, T-Rex, and it's, like, a knockoff T-Rex. It's not, like, the actual T-Rex, but it's basically, um, like, just something that these bands that you can hook up to, like, a bar or like something on the roof 
and then you can just do all kinds of different exercises. And what I found is it's kind of hard to document exactly how much force you're using as opposed to like with like dumbbells, it's like very easy to measure your progression and um, know what you should be aiming to lift, you know? But like with the TRX, it's been harder to do that. I'm sure there are systems for doing it. I just haven't learned it yet, you know? Um, but I'm excited to try to because I I've I'm su super excited for the possibilities. I've I've tried a few things with it and I've been very impressed. Even something as simple as just like stretching with it is pretty pretty sweet. Okay, all right. Looks like we got through there, and then we can cut up and over. Sounds good. But I've also discovered the wonders of microfascial um, like tools. Like I know that my parents had stuff like that, um, but I I didn't really use those when I went left home, you know. And now I've like just gotten some, and I've been using them a ton. And I might be like overusing them. But like, oh man, it feels so good. I think it's good for you too, right? Pretty sure it's good for you. Because my physical therapist told me to do it, so, right? She wouldn't tell me to do something that was bad for me. I don't think. Okay, so here we are, basically. Uh, we're at that, the refugee center. I believe the refugee center is just over. Oh, 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 oh. Held the button down. <laughs> Whoops. How's the car doing? Whoops. Uh, let's just uh, fix up things a little bit. Yeah, actually, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Considering that we just ran down a tree. <laughs> How are you guys actually doing? That's what I should be asking. I think you might actually have gotten hurt by that. Maybe not, though. They might actually have as much health as they just have. Oh, this is so annoying. Can I get through here? I bet I can't. I think I, I tried to do that in the past, and it didn't work. I'm just going to go down, just because I don't want to... Because if I have done it, I don't want to make you have to watch me go up and down all like over again. But it, you get a good idea for the distance of how far those labs were from uh, our base, you know? They're pretty far away. So these guys got to see a good amount of the world while we were out and about. Um, That's kind of like a weird unmarked little barn thing right there. Huh. Almost hit that rock. And then, yeah. We are at the refugee center. I kind of wanted to do the surgery on them and remove the CBMs. Is this the doctor's office? Yeah, that's the doctor's office. Right? So. Um, sorry, just give me a second. I got a quick text message. I just want to check it. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see. I am, I'll be right back in a second. Just got to actually respond more than that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, so we were, we were going to go, let's get onto the road. And I am curious if I do the auto drive and I say, drive me to here. How do you do? I'm just curious. Oh, didn't even, didn't get very far there. <laughs> I tried. I gave you a chance and you blew it. Let's see. What if we do that again? One more time. Oh my goodness. Very cautious. 
Uh, maybe not that fast. Let's go like 30. 30 is like a pretty reasonable speed, right? Especially seeing how there's two people in the vehicle without any um, protection. I wonder if they're getting hurt from their, their CBM or if I'm hallucinating, you know? What was that noise? I think that they just got hurt by their one of their CBMs, like the acid, acid discharge CBM or something. You know? Because you do want to get that taken out ASAP as one of those characters. It's just, you know, in the ant hill there. I think we just kind of want to get clear. There's a number of zombies in here, man. Wow. Actually, quite a few of them. Um, we just want to get to the doctor center or doctor's office, I should say. There are quite a few zombies, though. We're gonna have to clear out the the neighborhood before we um we work on those those uh, bionics. Man, you leave for like a week, and the whole town goes down the down the drain, right? Sorry about my mouse. <laughs> Just saw that there. Um, yeah, have any of you guys tried T-Rexes? Oh, look, there's a little solar panel right there. Uh, I just noticed that because we need um, to replace our solar panel. And we might as well do that while we're here. Are we... Yeah, we need to go over one more block. Fungal. Fungal. Uh-oh. I forgot that there was fungus around here. Um, let's see, can I just go out for a second? Sorry guys. Oh, I guess you're all gonna come out with us, huh? Um... Do I have anesthetic with me? Because I'm pretty sure we've got some anesthetic in here. Yeah, why don't we grab that? And there's undefined anesthetic as well which I should probably just throw under the tire or something because I keep on getting an error message about you. Um, yeah, let's just do that really quick. <laughs> like, honestly, I keep on getting this really annoying message about it. There we go. Bug smashed. <laughs> you get it? Because, like, it was a bug and I literally just smash the object that was causing said bug. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, yeah. Let's all come in here. We'll all hang out, have a little party. Let's see. Um, I think actually the one who's hurt the most, let's just look at your wounds. Yeah, you're hurting. Pretty bad, actually. So I think um, we want to uninstall, what's the one that's really causing you the most pain? It's probably the acid discharge, but I'm not sure. Uh, the failure chance on a number of these are pretty low. Um, uh, what is it? Probably want to start with things that are a little bit easier, right? The acidic one, though, I know is the one that's really causing him the most pain. But I think the bionic short circuit is also a good one to take out. Yeah, I think that we just need to get like a lot of this stuff taken out. It's unfortunately that's a gamble that we're gonna have to take. It's a 30% chance of failure. Three hours from now, we're gonna have to do some other work on him. I think I'll uh, I'll read. Um, oh, hold on. I'll be back in a minute. All right, you're gonna have to forgive me. I am adding this like the next day after what we were doing. So I have literally no idea what, what was going on. I mean, I've got some idea. I shouldn't say literally no idea, because I do have some idea. 
So we were hanging out here, and I think we had someone that was undergoing surgery, right? So I wanted to um, see about getting a good book uh, to teach our friend a little bit. You know, what if we did... I know I put down my martial arts books around here somewhere like uh yeah tactical baton defense i think that might be something that's useful for him not sure let's uh let's have a look if i'm trying to read that uh yeah harvey can get another level cool let's do that from viewing distance of our friend and hopefully our friend here he uh hopefully won't get hurt too bad from the surgery can i actually do a little first aid on him I can. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do that then. Just do a little bit on the essential uh, parts, you know. And then, where are you, Harvey? Come in. Come on in. We'll close that. And we'll, we'll read. Um, let's see. I wanted to have Harvey's level go up. Yeah, I'm not sure how... Um, what was with someone getting hurt there? I'm just curious, uh, if I look at wounds, yeah, you didn't get more hurt. I don't know. I don't know who, who got hurt there. You're healing up pretty nicely there. Cool, um, continue reading then. I don't know what it was that we, yeah, something is, someone's hurting. I'm pretty sure that's the CBM. <gasps> Successfully removed. The short circuit. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, so if I click that, still got an hour. Okay. Well, they did remove one of the most annoying CBMs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that his uh, leg just got hurt by the acid discharge. I'm not sure. We'll have to, we'll have to keep an eye on things. Harvey, why are you sick, man? Why are you nauseous? Um, I think that that's good, right? No, 30 minutes. Okay, so we need to go to like 3.30 then. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Are you getting hurt more? I think it was Dortha right there. It just got hurt. I'm almost positive of it. Um, I know that this is kind of a waste of time, but it's fine because we're pretty much done. And if we wait five minutes, he'll be done. Um, so if I look here, I look at you, you're actually doing okay now. You, on the other hand, need some work done. Um, so if I choose once to uninstall... I really would like to get that acidic one out. The short circuit one, I think... I am i can't remember what that one does. It'd be nice if I could see what these ones all do. Um, we definitely want ones that are going to hurt you to get taken out. Did I actually take out the acidic leaking one with our friend there? I'm not sure. I think we might have go bionic short circuit because I think that that's one of the ones that's really causing us some issues. I'll leave you guys there. Oh no, you'll you'll actually open them to follow me. Never mind. A uh, thorny shambler. Where are you? Are you gonna come over here? It doesn't look like it. It's kind of weird. They're like really just outside of our view. Um, so where was that other book that I wanted? There was like a couple uh, fighting books that were around here somewhere. Um, I mean, this one is one of them? Or is it the knife fighter? I think it's the knife fighter that I really want. Um, he already has cutting three, never mind. Uh, let's see, any other books? And there's an advanced programming book. That would be actually a good thing for us to actually read ourselves. I feel like I was just doing the tactical baton, right? There's cutting, there's bash. 
I'm, I can't remember what else. Um, what other book it was. Because I could have sworn we had another thing that should be good for fighting. Maybe I'll get the bayonet manual. I think that might be what I'm thinking of. But for some reason, I'm not 100% on that. It might also be the unarmed that I was trying to get up. Uh, guys, let's go back down. It's fine. I'm also tempted to let Harvey just take out that thorny shambler. It would not be a, a big deal if he did. Uh, Harvey, are you there? You gotta come? Or no? Eh, yeah, kind of. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll read in here. Yeah, this is basically my plan for the rest of the episode. Um, piercing up to three. Can I tell, um, can I be like, hey, Mason, uh, miscellaneous rules, um, close the doors and don't walk through closed ones and don't investigate sounds that you can't hear. Yeah, that's, that seems like a good set of rules there. Oh no, they're both coming that way. That's funny. <laughs> but now that that glass is there, then they won't come through. Cool. Alright. Um, yeah, I, I could have sworn that there was another book. I'll have to check. I'm going to definitely need to read that, though, for my character. So I figure that might be a good thing for us to just bring along for this little adventure. Oh, our flashlight's actually kind of running out of power. Maybe I'll I'll just go change that out then. Yeah, we'll just switch it out. Looking good, man. I'm hopeful that uh, after we've gotten these CBMs taken out, that these dudes are going to be super useful. Um, I'm going to just... Yeah, see, computer's up to six. I can learn from that. That's perfect. Um, how much time? Two hours, ten minutes. That is a fair amount of time. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna read it for myself. <gasps> Who's getting hurt? Is it you? No, you're not getting hurt. Yeah, I think it's you, Dortha. Getting, getting hurt over there. I'll have to, I'll have to do some first aid and f figure out what's uh, hurting you as well. Uh, getting cut open. We'll see. The remove is a failure. Okay. Well, at least you didn't die. And it wasn't that bad of a failure. Of all the failures that could have happened there, that is uh, not too bad. Let's fix up that torso and that head, though. We can at least give you a little boost. Do feel a little bit bad about that, about butchering the surgery. Uh, who's who's around here? There's a couple of them over there. I could go shoot them, but then we're gonna have to deal with them. Um. Oh, our morale is just hurting. I gotcha. You know what we could do? What would cheer up uh Nosh? Is a little Chihuahua time. Yeah, you're gonna start actually barking, and I'm, I'm probably gonna immediately regret this. Okay, no, he he's actually fine. Maybe. Oh man, we're so upset about reading that book about programming. That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> um. Well, we're gonna have to boost our morale some other ways then, aren't we? Is there any alcohol that we can drink? Some spiced mead. That's what I'm talking about right there. That should help, right? Can I read now? I can. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of curious if I'm looking here, cutting up to three. I, I didn't realize I could look at the skills off to the side like this. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty useful. Cutting up to four. That I might want to do. Yeah, I think we want to do that. I'm pretty sure. 
That might have been what I was thinking of. Um, actually, we're hearing... Is that fungus? Am I hearing fungal things just up there? Uh, sorry, I, I, I do want to check it out, but what on earth do we have back here? There might be another um, fighting skills book. Does not look like it. Okay. Well, I'm hearing fungus, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I am. Fungal zo zombie. Um, I don't want to punch you. That is really, really annoying. If we're getting fungal zombies. Oh, this whole house is like, fi is, needs to burn. Yeah. This is, um, at least our morale will go up. But this is a problem, how much fungus we got up here. Um, oh, sorry, wrong one. Extinguish. They need to make those a little bit clearer about what light up and starting a fire uh, quickly, what that really even means, you know? Um, is that Rassler coming my way? Yeah, they are. Well, we'll just take them out then. Easy. But now I'm going to have to be a little bit more alert about, yeah, zombies coming towards us. And our hearing is probably going to be hurting pretty soon, too. Um, Snot Gobbler. Yeah, come on over. You, though, I think we can take out with the Jane. Oh, you know what we should be doing is we should be playing a little harmonica. What am I doing here? I keep on carrying the harmonica with us, but we never, ever, ever play it. <laughs> oh, Nosh. I gotta honor you, man. Now, I am nervous to try and read inside of here, but I think we'll be okay. Um, I mean, there were a couple zombies around, but I don't think there's enough of them to really even take on this building if they wanted to. And so we'll just help Harvey get a little more experience. Uh, hold on. What's the crash? North, I'm hearing crash. Hold on. Why am I hearing crash? Oh, it's the house, probably. Yeah, um... We're, we're in a good mood. Got some fire going. You know, bigger fires should give you a bigger morale boost, you know? Right? Oh my gosh, look at the fungus over here. They've started to destroy the road. I think the fungus is, in my opinion, one of the most annoying enemies, but one of the best ones at the same time. Oh look, there's some gin there. Well, I guess uh, the gods are speaking to Nosh then. Just one of those days. <laughs> um, we're gonna be hearing a lot of crashes and smashes and all kinds of things from up there. I'm just gonna get my car just a little bit of out of the way from there. Um, just kind of pull it over here. Just so when people go to where our gun was, then that just kind of takes care of that. Oh, look, hello. Why don't you, you two come in here again? There we go. Um, how's that doing? 14 minutes. Okay, if I read... This, that's 14 minutes. If I just read once, um, yeah, they'll study with me, cool. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of messages of that building coming down just north of us while that fire spreads. So if I look at you, yeah, you're, you're really fine. So I'm just curious if I talk to Dortha and I look at your bionics, can I see what they do? I cannot. So if I can't see a bionic screen for you, I don't know exactly what's doing what. 
Um, but I'm pretty sure if I read these descriptions, I'll be able to figure it out. Um, that, oh, actual electrical discharge does not cause any damage. Hmm. That's not good for your health. That's not really the one. I think it's the power overload. Um. Yeah, no, maybe not. Bionic short circuit. That might be it. I don't know. I'm going to have to really look into this. I'm pretty sure that she's taken a lot of damage regularly. So we need to take some stuff out to get rid of that. Um, it's probably the acid discharge, to be honest, and that she's just been getting kind of unlucky with it, is what I'm thinking is going on. But, um, good thing that we were able to get that one out of uh, the bionic short circuit out of our friend. Okay, well, it's been about half an hour, so I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.